Hello, I'm Vitaly Glebochkin and in this video tutorial I'll show you how to apply 3D LUTs in games to create stunning visual effects. This video tutorial is primarily intended for games developers based on the Unity 3D engine. And of course I will create 3D LUTs in 3D LUT Creator. As an example I will consider a color correction with 3D LUTs of two scenes of the game The Angler. Many thanks to the creator of the game Dmitry Lukash for assistance in making this lesson, the reference to his project you can find in the video description. First of all I want to say that 3D LUT can be connected in Unity in two ways, by using the built-in components of the Unity and with the help of an external component Amplify Color. These components have different formats for inputting LUTs and both of these formats have been supported by 3D LUT creator since version 1.0. So I opened the print screen of the first gaming scene in 3D LUT Creator. Here is the night scene of the game and in my opinion it needs to be more atmospheric. To do this I'll go to the channels tab and decrease the greens. Something like this. Then I'm going to the curves tab and add blue tint to the shadows with the help of the blue channel curve. Now this picture has a little bit reddish tint. Let's go to the red curve and subtract the red, like this. Go to the master curve and here I'll want to add more contrast, more air tonal perspective. I raise highlights a little bit and return shadows back. Let's see before after. This is the picture we had before and this is how it looks after. What I still don't like is the moon. The real moon has more yellow and it's brighter. Let's try to repaint it first in yellow in the CL tab. The moon is somewhere here on the grid, so let's spin all the nodes and try to repaint the moon in yellow. Something like this. Maybe I'll have to turn the axis a little. Let's see before after that the moon we had and here it is become. Now I'll make the moon brighter. To do this I'll go to the 2D curves tab, pin all nodes and the moon is here on the grid. Let's try to make it brighter. Before after. Excellent. And the total before after. This is the picture we had before and this is after. Now I'm going to export my 3D LUT. To do this I'll go to the file menu export 3D LUT file. I name my first 3D LUT in Unity Night. And I have here an export window where I choose Export Unity and select LUT size 16. Then click OK. And once again I export the same LUT but for Amplify Color component. Amplify Color supports only LUT size 32, so the choice of the LUT size is not available here. I click OK. Now we can go to the folder with our LUTs and see how they look. This is how the LUT for Amplify Color looks. And this is the Unity LUT. Now I'll go to the Unity and try to use my LUTs for the color correction of the night scene. Turn on a built-in component of the Unity, which is called Color Correction Lookup. Add LUT to it and see the color change. Once again, before, after. Let's start the game and take a look. Very pretty cool I think. Now we'll look at without the LUT. I think it's quite boring, don't you agree? 
However, using a built-in component, we can't vary the LUT influence in the game. To do this, I'll take another component called Amplify Color Effect. I'll add a standard correction texture. And add the LUT, which is created in 3D LUT Creator. It should be remembered that for our LUTs we must disable Generate Mip Map settings. Otherwise, the LUT will not be applied quite right. So I have connected the external LUT and can change its degree of influence. Let's see how it will look in the game. Now we can change the degree of LUT influence. For example, we can subtract the effect of the LUT in half. Now let's see the scene in full screen. Let's increase the impact of the LUT to the maximum, turn it off and see how the night scene will look without the LUT. Pretty boring picture. Now let's see how a LUT will transform it. It looks very cool like the real night landscape. Now let's move on to the next scene. I loaded in 3D LUT creator the image of the sunset scene. Do you agree that this scene does not look like a real sunset? So I'll go in the channels tab and make the picture warmer. I decrease the greens and add more yellow and red. Now I'll go to the AB tab and try to adjust the white balance. I will warm the color temperature and highly increase the tint. Like this. Then I'll select a color model with a large gamut. For example HSP and E and move our image to warm colors. Let's compare our images before and after. The picture looks much juicier, but I want to add more depth to it and give the sunset sun a red glow. I'll do this on the set Luma curve, which is in the curves tab. This curve allows you to work with saturation depending on the brightness. I'll raise the saturation of the shadows and highlights. In the middle range I will lower it, because in the middle we have a color clipping. Let's try to turn off this curve, before, after. I think I can add a little more red to the sun. I'll do this with the curve of the red channel, something like this. Let's compare. This is the picture we had before and after. Agree, it's now exactly like a sunset. Let's now export it. Go to File menu, Export 3D LUT file. Choose our folder. I'll name this LUT Unity Sunset. Select Unity, click OK. And I'll make another LUT for Amplify Color component. Done. OK, let's load our LUTs in Unity and see how they turned out in the game. I have a sunset scene here and I'm going to add the standard Unity component Color Correction Lookup. Then I load our LUT. Done. 
I have a desired color correction. Looks awesome once again before, after. Let's see how it will look in the game. It looks very cool in my opinion. Now try to use the external component amplify color effect. I add standard correction texture and LUT. I can change the opacity of the LUT. In the gameplay it can be used for example for a smooth change of the time of the day. Let's leave it at 60% and see how it will look in full screen. It looks great. I modified the sunset and it only took half a minute in 3D LUT creator. I want to emphasize that using LUT in the games is one of the easiest effects in terms of performance, but how cool it looks. That's all for now, subscribe to our channel, stay tuned, it may not be the last lesson about using LUTs in games. I'm Vitaly Glevichkin, goodbye.